it's me, Keegan. And me, Jason. And Brittany. And Eric. And you're watching the Smoky Mountain family. And today we're at. Today we're here at the Park Grill, right at the entrance of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park here in Gatlinburg. We've wanted to try this place for quite some time. We haven't got around to it. Let's get it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here in the Great Smokies, we have come together to dedicate these mountains and streams and forests to the service of the millions of American people. To the free people of America, I dedicate this park. We got these uh, country fried pickles here. <laughs> I have a feeling that that's they're going to suggest that. Yeah, we always ask when we come here what's the most popular, and every appetizer that has pickles on it, yeah, that's always seems it. like that's it. What are you all doing ordering pickles? <laughs> <laughs> so the specialties, you got a the fillet, some shrimp. That chicken grilled barbecue plate. moonshine chicken sounds good, but yeah. we make bomb chicken. Yeah. Anytime we get chicken outside, I'm always disappointed. we're disappointed. There's so. a couple burgers, side items. There's this sweet potato casserole with coconut. Yeah, I'm getting that. Yeah, and then your sides and beverages. And here's the children's menu. You get the salad bar with it. They do have a salad bar here. The steak, chicken tenders, fried shrimp. And there's some children's daiquiris. <laughs> the Peach Panther among them. We had so here's the uh, mac and cheese bites. With Is a that raspberry sauce. And a raspberry sauce. Key, you want to go ahead? I bet I do. <laughs> These remind me of the ones that we had at that fish place, the trout house. But it pretty much looks the same. So. Yeah, your name. It's really different. You just gave a dawn face when you did that. It's like, I like that. You like it? Just unexpected okay. and a weird combination. All right. I'm going to try the raspberry sauce. I don't like raspberries. I don't know about the combo. It's a glaze or something, right? It's good. There's a little bit of a like spicy kick to it. I think that's why the raspberry is there to calm it down. They're good. Uh, raspberry sauce and cheese. I think they're really good. They are really good, and the raspberry sauce is a yep. great compliment to it. It feels elevated. Mm. Yeah. Look, he didn't want them, now he's going back. Mm. They're really good. You ready to give it a shot? They bring the bread out. You gotta ask for it though. Yeah. Hot bread is available upon request. Somewhere you've been before? So I got some macaroni salad, fresh mozzarella, cherries of course, cottage cheese and potato salad. I want a different direction with the salad bar. So I just got some salad with some onions. Um, they get a little bit of egg and then like the basil vinaigrette as a dressing. So 
I don't know why, but I got some pickles on the side too. <laughs> Boy, really? look at them fries though. You try them, Jay Z. Okay. Delicious. Oh, she went back for another. Sounds crispy. I think you're just gonna have her eating all under that. Cake. Oh, she's happy. <laughs> Wine, you ready? Yes. Okay, so I love pulled pork and barbecue. I don't know why. And I like black potatoes a lot too. So this, this should be a good meal then. Should right? be good. Um, the barbecue sauce looks thicker than and she said it was more sweet. So and you try. love barbecue, don't you? I like when they're love heavy it. on it. The barbecue sauce tastes homemade, and the pulled pork is like so good. Really good. You want to try those potato macaroni? <laughs> Remember, we are like filming this and doing a review and you know, put it on YouTube and such. These are garlic <laughs> mashed potatoes. I want to taste them. I'll still go back like, for more. It's like mashed potatoes. It just tastes like normal mashed potatoes. Well, just about every little time. Chunks. Every, little chunks. That means they're homemade. Probably. So, and the reason it probably tastes like normal potatoes to her is because anytime That's I make potatoes, I make them with garlic every time. So, so Brittany, what did you get? I got sweet potato casserole and the moonshine chicken. I'm starting to realize you get a lot of dishes with pineapple. I do. I love pineapple. <laughs> I'm excited for this. I love sweet potatoes too. It's sweet potato coconut casserole, right? Yep, I just tasted the big bite of that coconut there. This is amazing. Really good? Mm. Alright, try your that chicken, Keegan. to be on a Thanksgiving <laughs> meal right there. Oh, yeah? Mm. Easy cut there. Got it. How's everything tasting so far? I mean, it tastes really good. You can tell it's really grilled. It's heavy, like, grilled grill taste. flavor. We just make good chicken. Yeah. This is why I don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> What you got going on there? Here we go. Ribs. Ribs. What's that rib taste like? A rib? <laughs> Very good. It's got the crispness on the outside. Texture well. Barbecue sauce is great. You taste the smoke. Did you say it's got Christmas? Not Christmas. Crisp. Yes. Is that a word? We asked them. You know, what do people come here for? What's their most popular? And this is what they said. It lives up to that. Try a fry. And then the fries. They're awesome. Good. Um, you know, we just did the food review at the food trucks. Um, every time I eat a fry from here on out, that's kind of what I'm, you know, measuring it up to. And it doesn't quite hit that, but it's it's similar. Good. Similar to that. We came here with every intention to getting this to show you guys. I just can't. We're so full, man. But I here are the desserts. The Jack Daniels creme brulee. I There's really nothing on this that. that doesn't sound delicious. He was going to get the peanut butter mud pie. And the girls wanted the brownie bash. Yeah, we wanted all of them. <laughs> so we got three adult meals, an appetizer, kids meal, and drinks. Everything came to 96.69. So that was the park grill. I'm gonna jump in with the rating. <clears throat> well, I went back and forth in my head. I have to remind myself that Keegan got it an adult meal. And this is the same price we paid at three Jimmy's. I went between a seven and eight just because I got the chicken. That's the thing. Like everything was amazing though. So I'm gonna go to <clears throat> I'm gonna go at eight. If you make good chicken at your house, I would skip the chicken. <laughs> But everything else was amazing. Like those mac and cheese bites were so good. Everything here has like this elevated taste. It can look expensive, but remember we got an appetizer, which you don't need because they give you bread. You just ask for it. And then almost every adult meal also comes with a salad bar, which the salad bar is really cool. I kept seeing Peddler in here when I was sitting down. I think probably because of the salad bar too. I like their salad bar. They have like the macaroni salad, all that. It's an eight. Uh, I rated it a nine because we have this favorite barbecue place. Barbecue place in Myrtle Beach called Pop Pops Barbecue. 
And this barbecue is probably the closest barbecue I've ever had to tasting like that. And their barbecue honey, it's amazing. The pork was really good. The mashed potatoes, they were called garlic mashed potatoes. I didn't taste any garlic. Um, you could tell that they were homemade though. They were homemade. Um, I snatched some JC's fries. They were okay. They weren't that good, Wait, but they what? were like, they were okay. <laughs> so, a uh, nine. Well, you rated J. I rated a 10. I really like the decorations and I really like the food. So, a 10. Okay, so right off the rip, I'm giving it a 10. And here's the reasons why. I love the National Park. Uh, this place is the coolest theme spot that I've been into for my taste and my liking because it sits at the border of the National Park and just all the theming in there. They had really cool stuff. They had the picture of the first, like, most famous moonshine maker, if you will. Um, my ribs were fall off the bone, the, the, and they were good throughout, but the crispy pieces, man, they were just to die for. The mac and cheese bites were good. They brought out the rolls. Uh, they were good as well. Salad bar is cool. It is, a, I think, owned by the same place as the Peddler, so they both have the salad bar there, which is really cool to still see. The fries are, um, I think we said that food truck. food truck, at the food truck, that we probably had the best fries that we've had anywhere. Um, these were close. These, uh, they tasted similar. They were, you know, the wedges, they were spiraled wedges. They, you know, you feel, everything was homemade. You, you taste the, the clumps of potatoes and the mashed potatoes. The, you know, it was, this is definitely at the top of my list of dining experiences in, in, in this area. The staff was on point too. Oh yeah, that's something else to mention. Like, I'm sure they're experiencing the same employment, you know, There's a no staffing hiring issues. Sign. There's a no hiring sign. Can't tell it with the service. And that's what, that's the difference. You hear it all the time. Like, you got, got to give people, you know, the benefit of the doubt and, and all that. And that's true. Like, we're, I don't think we're harsh on anybody when it comes to staffing, but places can adapt. I mean, what separates you know, businesses and establishments are being able to adapt. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my, our waitress had a few tables, but, you know, when it came time, if it, I had a, a gentleman, a waiter walk by, and I was at the bottom of my glass, and he seen it and just gave me a, a, a subtle head nod. Two seconds later, he was back out. They work as a team in here, so they've, they've taken the, the challenges, and they've adapted to those challenges, and we've received really good service in the middle of the the employment uh, shortage so yeah all right guys thanks for watching make sure to like comment subscribe turn on notifications and we'll see you next time Bye. Bye. Our home, our family. Yes, we shall be defending a way of life which has given more freedom to the soul and body of man than ever has been realized in the world before a way of life that has left men Whatever heights they could scale without hurting their fellows. A way of life that has let men hold up their heads. That in our country, men are free to differ with each other and with their government and to follow their own thoughts and express them. We believe that the only whole man is a free man. And we believe that in the face of danger, the old spirit of the frontiersman that is in our blood to give us the courage and the unity that we must have. We need that spirit in this hour. We need a conviction to are no division of us. We're all members of the same body. We are all Americans.